Hello, stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I have a couple cards that I'm going to share with you. We are going to be using a technique called monochromatic, and it is part of a blog hop with the Stampers Dozen design team. So we were challenged to make cards using one of the many beautiful blues that Stampin' Up! has in their color collection right now. So I've got a couple cards that I made using the Tropical Layers dies, which I absolutely love, and the Sun Prince Designer Series paper, which is spectacular, as well as some glimmer paper. I've got a lot of fun in store for you. Let's get this camera flipped around and I will show you how to make my cards. This is the Sun Prince Designer Series paper. And since our challenge was to use the blues in the Stampin' Up! Color families, I thought, oh, this is gonna be perfect, right? And Monochromatic is making a card using um, the same colors. So I decided to pull out my Stylish Shapes dies. These are brand new in the annual catalog. I'm going to be using different elements of these on both cards, so it'll give you a good idea of how fantastic these are. And then I'm very excited to let you know that these Tropical Layers dies are on the clearance rack right now. They are retiring. They are 50% off, so you can get this entire set with the edgelet and all of these elements for $17.50. And again, these are called Tropical Layers Dyes. You can do a search for those in my online store, which you'll find right here on my blog. This is my current host code. If you are planning on putting an order in and your order is under $150, please use this code. But if it's over $150, don't use the code. You're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those. The other thing I have going on right now is with a $75 order in my online store, I am giving away a card kit using the new host paper from the annual catalog. Fantastic little card kit. It's going to come with some embellishments, again, for orders over $75, and that is only good through Wednesday, June 15th. So just wanted to make sure you know everything going on here. Now, the other thing I decided to bring in was the Bragworthy stamp set. I love these funny little sayings. We've got thanks for being the person I overthink things with. I'm here for you. Seriously, just try to get rid of me. Just try. Your friendship is as Bragworthy as a dress with pockets. And who doesn't love a dress with pockets, right? Look at you doing grown-up things and stuff. Would recommend you as a friend. And then this one, one minute you're young and cool, and the next you're getting excited over new towels. Happy birthday. Welcome to adulting, right? Thanks for being the person I overthink thinks, think things with is what I'm going to be using for my first card. I'm also going to be bringing in these brand new 2022-24 in-color matte decorative dots because they're blue. I've got the in-color glimmer paper, and look at all these blues down here. These are ombre glimmer papers, absolutely beautiful. We're gonna be using those on one of the cards we're making. And then of course, our Starry Night stamp set, which goes gorgeously with the Sun Prince Designer Series paper. Okay. I am going to bring in my first card here and get everything rolling. First of all, I always like to decorate my envelopes. So we have medium sized basic white envelopes. You can find these in my online store. And I like to cut a piece of the designer series paper that is two and a half by six and add that right to my envelope flap with a little of the liquid glue. I'm just gonna put this on here. We're gonna turn this over and use that flap as a guide to then trim the designer paper. This is a fantastic way to make your envelopes match your projects. It's simple, I love it. All right, next we're going to take our Starry Sky. This is five and a half by eight and a half. We're gonna fold it in half, and I'm gonna bring in my basic tools here. I have a bone folder, 
Okay, take your pick tool, paper snips, and you already saw my liquid glue. These are my essentials for stamping. So we're going to burnish that edge good. And now I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer and we're going to cut a little bit off of this front panel. We're gonna cut off an inch and a quarter got a scoring blade and then we have a cutting blade on our paper trimmer. Now I've got a bunch of scraps here and I'm just going to set these over to the side. I've got two pieces of basic white. This is four by five. No, I'm sorry. This is two and three quarters by five and a quarter. One goes on the front, one goes on the inside. I've also got a piece of the Sun Prince Designer Series paper. And this is one of the darker prints in here. There's some that have just a lot of dark on them and that's kind of right here. It's kind of what I was going for was this top part right here. I'm going to take that and add it right to one of my basic white panels. And this designer series paper layer is two and three quarters by five and a quarter. And I think that's wrong. I'll measure this in just a second so I make sure I'm giving you the right numbers because that doesn't seem right. Two and five eighths by five and an eighth. Oh yeah. I have that written down, but I've got it in the wrong place. So that's DSP. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Now, that piece is gonna fit right on here and sticking with my monochromatic blues, I thought this went together really, really good. And I just like that little bit of white popping out of there, really sets it apart from the starry sky card base, right? Then I took a piece of the striped designer series paper and I'm going to add that right over here on this side. Gives it a nice contrast, I think. Now, what I did um, with this white layer is I took this and grabbed my tropical layers dies and I took this little die right here and I die cut it down here in this corner. So I'll do that in just a second. We've got some other die cutting to do here. I took the Starry Sky um, Glimmer paper and I'm going to die cut one of these out of that. I'm gonna grab another piece here. This is a little bit lighter. This is Starry Sky, and this would be Orchid Oasis. So I'm going to grab this die, and we're gonna die cut this image, this image, this one out of here, and then I've got a piece of Starry Sky that I'm going to use with this tropical leaf. So we're gonna die cut all of these things. Now, when I get done with this one, I'm gonna take it and I'm going to die cut some more out of the Orchid Oasis of these little leaves because we're gonna kind of use those as an embellishment. So I'll be right back, hang tight. Here comes all of our die cut images and that white layer that I die cut those leaves out of. Now what I'm gonna do with that is I'm just gonna put it right inside my card and I just thought this was a neat little peekaboo windows to see that pretty starry sky through there. I'm just gonna add this right in here. Let me make sure I've got it straight. It looks a little crooked here. There we go. Okay. Then I have a white, basic white scrap, and that's where my sentiment is going to come in. I'm gonna use that. Thanks for being the person I overthink things with, and we're doing that with the Starry Sky ink. I love the different fonts on here. I'm always drawn to that. 
Now we're going to pull out the stylish shapes dies and we've got all these banners here. This biggest one fits right on here. So I'm going to take just a little bit of temporary tape and tape that in place so it doesn't move. I'm gonna die cut this, I'll be right back. And here comes that sentiment banner. And now we're ready to assemble our card. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this biggest one and kind of put it mm, right about here maybe. And then I'll bring this one in. It's a little bit darker, so it kind of shows off under there. And let's see, if we pull this down here, we might be able to put this pretty one right in here. Yep, I like that. Then I'm going to bring my banner in right about here. What do you guys think? Isn't this pretty? Okay, hang tight while I get this stuff all secured down. We're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of our sentiment layer. Then I was thinking maybe, oh, I don't think I'm gonna bring any ribbon in here. We also have metallic woven ribbon that goes along with our new in colors. I might use this on the second card that I'm gonna share with you. I just made a boo-boo here. Don't put a dimensional on the outside, the right side of the back of your sentiment because that's gonna kinda hang over here. So I'm gonna maybe put my dimensional right there instead. Now I like to use my take your pick tool to pick these backings off of my dimensionals. It just works really good for me. And then I'm gonna bring this in here. Oh my gosh, I love this. Hang on just a second. Pin that down good. What do you guys think? Isn't that cool? Oops, I think I got it a little bit crooked. Hang on. I seem to be doing that a lot lately. There we go, that looks much better. Now, I've got all these little tiny leaves that I cut out of that scrap of the glimmer paper and I just thought these would look kind of nice in various places on the front of my card. So, I'm going to just take and put some little dots of glue I think I've got five of them here. And then I'll use my take your pick tool, has a putty end on it. And I love this thing. I think it's just the coolest little tool ever. Oops, I got a little bit of glue on my finger there. And put one about right here. Oops, stay there. And then Another one right here. Oh my gosh, just that little bit of bling on there. Isn't that fun? Now, I do have the in color um, de matte decorative dots, but I don't think I need them on here because I've got these little leaves on here. So here is our first monochromatic card using the starry sky, the glimmer paper, the beautiful stylish shapes dies, and also the tropical layer dies. Hang tight, we're gonna do one more. I'm going to do the same thing to my envelope with just a different pattern of that Sun Prince designer series paper. So I've got the stripes here. Hang tight while I get this cut out for you. There's our beautiful envelope. We're going to use Starry Sky as our card base again. This is five and a half by eight and a half. Just going to get that edge burnished. Then I have a white layer that's four by five and a quarter for the inside, which reminds me, you guys, if you head over to my blog, at the end of this video, there's going to be a link up here in the top right-hand corner. You're going to find a free download on my blog, and that is a project sheet of these two cards. 
It'll have the pictures, it'll have a complete ingredient list, all the products that I use to make them so you can recreate them easily, along with the dimensions and instructions that you can print out or download to your device, which is a really cool benefit. So I offer those um, free of charge on my blog for almost all the projects that I make. So you definitely wanna head over to my blog when we're done here. Okay, this is a one inch by five and a quarter inch strip of the designer paper, just to decorate up that inside a little bit. Then I have a piece of gray granite. This is four by five and a quarter. Now don't tell anybody, because I don't know if it's okay to use this, but it is a neutral color, kind of like white, right? And I don't think anybody's gonna kick me out of the blog hop. So we're gonna be okay. <laughs> Next, what I've got here is a whole bunch of scraps. I've got designer paper scraps, and I've also got some gray granite and some starry sky. So first, we're going to stamp our sentiment. And again, I'm using that Bragworthy sentiment stamp set with starry sky ink. And I'm just going to stamp this on the scrap of Sahara sand. No, I'm sorry, gray granite not Sahara sand, gray granite. And then we're gonna pull out our square dies here from the Stylish Shapes dies. And let's see, do I need this big one or can I get away with this one? Let me check it. I'm gonna get away with the second to the largest one. We're not using the large square, but we're gonna use all the other squares. So I've got this I'm going to die cut. I'm gonna leave just a little bit of extra room on the bottom here when I do that. Then I am going to take this one and maybe that's, I'm gonna use this square and then we've got this one and I'm going to do this same square on here and also a little smaller one. And then on this designer series paper, it's kind of cloudy looking. We're going to do the big square, the little square, and the medium square. Last but not least, we need one of these leaves from the tropical layers. And I'm going to use this cute one. This is like, I think my favorite one out of here. So I'm going to die cut all this stuff. I'll be right back. So here are all the dies that I just cut out. I cut out three in the third from the largest. I cut out two using the second from the largest, the sentiment in this one, then the fourth from the largest, and then the smallest one. So we're going to take those and we're gonna arrange them on this layer. Now, I just thought this was really neat. I have seen people do this with um, circles before. And I thought, gosh, I wonder how this would look if I did it with squares. And I really liked the look of it. I haven't actually made the card yet, so we're gonna do this together. I'm gonna let this kind of fall off the side a little bit. I'm gonna get the square on here straight. I want everything to be nice and straight and square. And then we're going, whoops. We're going to do this one right here. I think I'm going to take my leaf and add it right about here. This would have been a good time to use my adhesive sheets to turn this into a sticker, but even when I leave them right over there on my desk, I don't remember to use them. So hopefully you'll be better than I am and you'll be able to do that. I think I'm gonna just pop that right up there. Then we're going to bring in, I'm gonna bring in this one. Oops, we're gonna put that over there. This one and this one. So I'm gonna put this one right down here. And again, there's no rhyme or reason. I just thought these would look good here. And don't let me forget to put some ribbon on here. This is where I think I'll be able to use the ribbon. Here comes another square. I'll do that right down here. And then we're going to put this one on and this one. And I think I wanted to tuck this under here. <laughs> so we're gonna just tuck it 
that's what we're going to do. I think I'm going to put this one on first. Kind of just went along just doing a thing. And then I'll just add a little bit of glue right here because that'll keep that all in place. There we go. There we go. Okay, this is looking pretty cool, right? Now I'm just gonna turn this over and use that edge of my gray granite as a guide. What do you guys think so far? Then we're going to grab some dimensionals and I'm going to put those on the back of my sentiment layer. Before I do that, I'm gonna see if I wanna use that ribbon. I think that might look pretty neat on here. So if I put this on right here, oh my gosh, what do you guys think? Isn't that cool? If I put that on right there, I could actually tie a piece of ribbon right over at this edge and I think I will do that. I love this woven ribbon, it's metallic it's very pretty, it's got a glimmer to it. And I'm just gonna put this around here, cut it off, and we're gonna tie it really close to this edge over here so it doesn't interfere with my sentiment. And I am just going to tie this in a knot. There we go. And cut it off. I think what I want to do is kind of unwind it a little bit because it's it's woven so you can unweave it right make it be a little bit more substantial on the ends here yep I like that but I'm going to cut a little bit more of this off it's kind of long there we go okay here comes our sentiment and again with that take your pick tool if you guys don't have one of these it's like my left hand when I'm stamping I really do love it and I'm going to come in here and just put this right down here it's not exactly in the center I do want it straight then we're gonna bring in these dots because I thought these would look pretty neat and I'll do a couple of these darker ones one more right up there. How about a little bit lighter one, a little bit lighter one. Oh my gosh, what do you guys think? Isn't that cool? Now let's get this all put together. I'll show you both cards in our Summertime Blues Monochromatic Stampin' Up Blues. This was a really fun, fun project. Here we go. Here's one card, and here's the other one. Oh my gosh, I so love this. Now remember that these tropical layer dies, these tropical layer dies are retiring. They are still available in my online store. They are 50% off, so you can get all of these dies for $17.50. Also, this is part of a blog hop. First of all, click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of all of my new Janu or July to December holiday mini catalog product that I got in this week. And I'm thinking I probably might do it on Wednesday or Thursday. So you want to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. But you're also going to want to click right up here and head over to my blog where you're going to find a blog hop. Everybody is making monochromatic cards today on the Stampers Dozen design team. So you're going to get a lot of really cool ideas. And if you're new to all this stamping stuff or you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like to get your hands on our new annual catalog, can I just say, whoa, it's amazing. I would be happy to mail you one. Pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above .com and I would be happy to mail you a catalog. Don't forget to include your address though. And don't forget to grab your free downloads. With a $75 order between now and Wednesday, June 15th, I will be um, rewarding those with a card kit. It's gonna be super cute, you guys. I hope you'll be able to take advantage of that. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Head over to that blog hop, 
and have yourselves a great evening. Bye-bye.